Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about this, okay, stopping margin goal. So from what I tried before, it is not that hard, okay, because it seems that I fought the bug version, okay. On the wiki, they say that it will, it will have something like, it has something like uh, immunity against physical and magical attack, but when I fought him before, I don't encounter anything like that okay so I don't know whether it's been fixed or not okay but I think it won't be changed that much okay probably if the if there is a barrier uh, I think the only significant change is probably only the duration of the battle not gonna make it harder or something like that okay so this is my party setup you don't need Ayaka and yeah this is these are 5 stars base, but really guys, you don't need 5 stars base. I simply lazy to change my equipment to my 4 stars base character. So I will explain what you need to do in the battle. Okay, so depart. Let's begin stopping March and Co. Okay, so the most important thing on this battle is... Uh, attack and magic break, okay? That's why I use this. She reached Darkfina because she able to break 45% of all attack, magic, defense, and spirit. That also will make this battle end faster, okay? But yeah, you can maybe use uh, anyone, okay? Maybe you can use Warrior of Light, but from Warrior of Light Arms Eraser, okay? And Ayaka here basically, yeah, doesn't need to do anything, okay? I bring Misty for her um, clear veil because you really need. Element resist. Without element resist, your party probably gonna be annihilated, okay? Because he can inflict confuse, and that's really dangerous, okay? And yeah, Nico here basically only use uh, link stance, so full and impregnable. You can easily exchange, I mean, switch Nico into four stars like characters such as Soleil, Yan, and Crowy, okay? Simply ditch Ayaka, okay? Because I, Ayaka basically doesn't do anything, okay, on this battle. So I will use this, okay? Define ruination tap tap. Okay, so it seems I deal too many damage, okay? Oh, so it uses Titan Shield now. Like you can see that the damage dealt is really, it's, it's really not big deal, okay? See? About 3,000 to Maritime Strategist Nicole. But really, if you have break and apply general damage mitigation to your party, basically, you will be safe, okay? So, general mitigation, attack magic break, and all elements resist. You will be safe on the entire battle. And on this turn, you cannot attack him, okay? Because... Like you can see, boost resistance to physical attack, boost resistance to magical attack. Let's try to attack him. See? Doesn't drop anything. Okay. So let's need call to use uh, Link Stance. And I will use him to increase, increase LB Gouch, okay? But you don't need it. This basically simply make the battle become faster. For Misty, yeah, you don't need to do anything, okay? Simply refresh your Clear Veil and see Bridge Darkfina. Don't use magic, Echo. You cannot use magic because there is an objective. No magic. So, I think, yeah, simply refresh Mystical Fall. Ayaka simply guard again. See, the regen from Nico is enough. Like you can see, you can replace Ayaka with normal healer. That way, if you don't have regen from my Microsoft Nicole, you can use uh, your healer, okay? So see, this is why you need a character that able to inflict breaks without damaging him, okay? Because if you don't have character like Sibris Jarfina, let's say you use full break, okay? Full break deals little damage, so it will trigger Victor Martenko to to use his Titan Shield again. So basically on this turn, what you need is physical fall, 
okay, because his brakes are all gone. Now, don't attack him to make his shield disappear. And for Misty, yeah, let's just repeat. Maritime strategist Nicole simply used uh, Link Stance. Uh, magic. N I think. Uh, impregnable and Magic Restorative Stance. Ayaka doesn't. Ayaka simply used. Yeah, I will use her to for Kuraga, okay? Your 4 star base healer can cast Kuraga, so. Really? Ayaka is really not needed, like you can see here. So. See? Pathetic damage. And yeah, it's gone! But the point is, on this turn, you cannot lower its health below 49%. You will see. Oh, it's wrong game. See? This is why. This is. This means you cannot one shot him. Let's check Nicole buff. Boost resist. Boost, boost defense. Reduce damage. And I think Ayaka will use Kiraga. Nicole will use uh, Link Stance and to refill everyone's LB. Okay, uh, LB Gauge. LB Gauge. Okay. Misty. Oops! I'm really sorry, guys. I use Ayaka Kiraga. I just remember that. Kiraga is a magic, but. That's really not big deal, right? Okay, basically I don't need... You simply need to bring a healer like... Uh, I forgot... Luka, okay, Luka can heal your party without white magic. So physical magic again, where is physical fall? Let's just refresh it and Misty, do normal attack. Okay... So I think it's enough, okay, Titan shield. So it can be quite dangerous on the 49%, okay, because I forgot to break, okay, so make sure you apply your AOE race if you show up, right? You cannot do anything, so simply link stance. Uh, insufficient MP. Let's use Ayaka dedication. Okay. Okay. Link stance. Mm. Where's my soul for? Pregnable. For Misty. Let's use clear veil. Okay, I really forgot the budget. Guard. See? Not again, kill. Okay. Ayaka, let's use the indication again. Remember that you can also use items here. So you can use Turbo Eater, Chocolate, or whatever to restore your MP. Nicole, Link Stance, uh, Magic, Restorative, Magic, Restorative. Okay. Yup, it's gone now. But... I think... Let's try to use... No, no, he won't die. Yeah, let's just try it, okay? Shortly, Raiden. Let's refreeze. Here we Okay, what kind of attack is that? I don't know. It doesn't happen before, but let's just revive it. Maybe it can use instant KO. In that case, bring Warrior of Light and use Provo. Okay, that's not a big problem. So let's use uh, Ayaka or Wolai. Hiraga. And let's buff. 
Okay, okay, okay. Defend, defend. Okay. After that, I really need to wait until. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, you can attack him. Let's use link stance. This one, impregnable to buff our fury. Where's my physical ball? Okay, so it's full, so I can kill him on the next two turns. Okay. So let's try to kill it just now. No, okay, so yeah, on the next turn. Okay, okay. Dead, it's okay. Lost water. And yeah, I believe I will kill him now. No, I forget! Oh my god. My free time always messed up on important. Yeah, basically that's it, right? I, I simply too stupid. See, people get confused, but because it only five percent, I only yeah, I basically simply only need to wait on this turn, and I can kill him on the next turn. that final kill switch okay so i won't prolong this battle okay Be basically you understand right simply be patient and gather your oh fuck i forgot again be patient and gather your lb and kill it using lb okay basically not hard at all so pretty easy okay i think so yep i think that's all you need to know about this victor marchenko battle okay thank you very much for watching but before ending this video, I want, just want to say that the accessory you get from this battle is quite good. Okay, 28 attack, so that is good for a double hand character. So an accessory like Bomb Engagement Ring has 30 attack, so it only has 2 less attack. Okay, so pretty good. So make sure you get it, okay? And also it works against Lightning, so if you have Olive's friend, I believe you can easily defeat it, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye guys!